Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be continuing a look at some potential rotation proof uh, deck themes or archetypes. Um, so again, just to preface, we've done this for a few decks already. I'm not saying these will be the go-to tier one decks of the format. Really what we're trying to do is see, based on the smaller card pool with exception of Throne of Eldraine, what cards might still see play post-rotation uh, now that we've lost, like, say, Teferi Hero Dominaria come the fall rotation, Goblin Chain Whirlers, uh, Nexus of Fate, so stuff like that. Um, so we've played a couple decks already. I have the article up on Aether Hub if you want to check that out. Um, we're taking a look now at a Simic uh, ramp deck. So this is around Nisa. Um, so with this Nisa deck, you're basically looking to try to ramp out Nisa as quick as possible. And then from there, uh, we can play out like big Hydroid Crisis or Voracious Hydras or Mass Manipulations. So to kind of walk you through the deck itself, you have Incubation Druid, uh, Leafkin Druid, and Paradise Druid as our early ramp spells. Uh, one thing we lose is uh, Llanowar Elves, so we don't have the turn one uh, mana accelerant. Uh, we're also seeing if I want to try these out with uh, Risen Reef first um, over uh, a Boreal Grazer, see how that goes. Um, these are always kind of live where a Boreal Grazer late game is a pretty bad draw. It does hedge us against a more aggressive matchup though, so it's something we want to see how it plays out. Um, we have our X spell package, the Hydra special. So Voracious Hydra is either a huge doubled up 1-1 counter with Trample, or it allows us to fight. So it's kind of removal on a stick. And then Hydroid Crisis, everybody knows. Gain a bunch of life, draw a bunch of cards, and then we can uh, play it from there. Uh, Risen Reef, we don't have a huge amount of elementals. It's basically the Risen Reefs and the Leafkin, but any kind of card advantage it generates or ramp is also good. Uh, we're playing two Leyline of Abundance. Might want to go to three or four. Um, especially want to see this in our opener so we can get it down. So all our mana dorks tap for an additional green. And then when we get a lot of mana, we can just start using the uh, eight mana effect to start putting counters on our team uh, to make them a lot better. Um, there's a couple of one ofs I want to try out. Uh, Vivian Arc Bow Ranger to give like, if we get these really big to give them trample or to just upgrade our dorks. Uh, she also has removal. Um, the other effects, like the minus five, we're not really going to play that much. So it's really just put counters on our things. Um, and then we have Tamio, uh, kind of draw us into Nisa, get it back, uh, prevents us from sacrificing or discard. So um, usually like her in these like Simic shells as a one to two of. She helps us if we need a mass manipulation, if we need a crisis, just kind of find that piece that we're missing. Uh, we have... Mass manipulation, uh, basically we're going to generate a lot of mana, so this is a way for us to deal with Planeswalkers to steal them. A uh, good way for us to just win the game on the spot. Uh, Cavalier of Thorns is another card like Vivian I want to try one of. Uh, it's been good in most decks. Uh, it's actually an elemental as well, so it'll trigger a Risen Reef. Uh, just some more ramp at a high end uh, that we can then recycle some cards. And then the namesake of the deck. The one that makes the deck kind of tick is Nisa Who Shakes the World, doubling up all our forests, generate a ton of mana, make our lands into creatures. She is a fantastic card and will be the anchor of the deck. Um, the mana base pretty standard. I'm missing right now a Temple Garden, um, but or sorry, a Temple of Mystery, but you should play four. Um, outside of that, it shouldn't make too much of a difference, um, so we'll play out from there. Uh, the sideboard is going to be Veil of Summer versus your counter decks, uh, Aether Gust versus your like Gruul style strategies, Dinos, aggressive things, more of a tempo play while we set up our ramp. Uh, negate versus control, Kefnet versus the heavy removal decks. Um, this is going to be against like Grixis style decks, Esper, because uh, it could keep getting uh, put back into our library. Uh, Shifting Ceratops is versus the blue base strategies, the fairy strategies. And then Ugin, I want to play just the one of as a kind of catch all removal um, and just a card advantage for the more grindy matchups. So we'll try this out. We'll play a couple of ranked games. I'm on like Platinum, almost Platinum uh, 4, or sorry, Platinum 2. 
been grinding some aristocrats. So we will play that out. All right. So as we get started, um, like I said, the article for the previous one is up on Aetherhub. You can check it out there. All my deck lists will be posted there. If you are considering purchasing any cards on TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link um, in the uh, video description down below. Um, if you can follow that link, all it does is let TCG know that I sent you there. It costs you nothing if you're already buying cards and is a great way to help support the channel. And as always, if you can subscribe to the channel on YouTube, it again is free and goes a long way to helping the channel. And that is all my banter. Get that out of the way and let's jam some magic. So this looks like the scape shift deck. So I'm going to play out the Paradise Druid here, reason being they can't Teferi it. Our hand's pretty good, but they are going to start accelerating here. So they'll get a island. Oh, they just got one, so it's not too bad for us. I'm gonna go Risen Reef here. We can play Nisa for sure next turn, or we can just get a lot of advantage with um, playing Risen Reef and Leafkin next turn. And then drop Anisa the following turn. Or can we. Actually, we can play out Nisa, untap a forest, and play Leafkin. So let's do that. In this matchup, I feel like we're both just trying to do our own strategy and whoever kind of pays off first. So that gets us another forest into play. Uh, so it's two mana, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 mana next turn, that's X12. Uh, so they have a crisis for 6. So we'll throw this in the way. Um, so here... We'll play out the temple. Ooh, Voracious Hydra is something I can get behind. So let's add our mana. So X12. So we're just going to go bigger in terms of Hydra. Oop, X10. We have 14 mana. Why isn't it not letting us do it? Uh, no attacks this turn. At this point, we can probably get rid of Incubation and Paradise Druid. I want to keep the Elementals because it gets us more card draw. Uh, that sucks. That also takes us off the double mana that we could have had an Explosive turn. So next turn... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, no blocks here. Let's see if they escape shift here. Ah. Pretty good sequence of cards for the opponent. Uh, 
Okay, so let's see what we got here. So that's... Let's start with attacking Teferi. I think that's our starting point. The growth spiral. This is hardly my worst defeat. Okay, so we need this to be seven mana at least to kill the crisis. So that's two, three, four, five. So that's nine mana we need. So let's just do a setup turn here. We'll take out the Krasis next turn. Another Leafkin. Another Risen Reef. Um, yeah, we can do this. Get three triggers. Okay, mass manipulation's good. Cavalier of Thorns, so here. We are certainly drawing a lot. <laughs> if there was any ever worry about this deck being able to draw cards. Uh, discard four cards, so I don't think we have time for the druids. Could probably get rid of a voracious and could probably get rid of a leafkin. Alright, so next turn we can steal their stuff. So we'll just block here. We're at 31 cards. Need to be somewhat mindful. So the opponent hasn't hit scape shift yet. Okay. That probably signifies that they do have the scape shift. Um, so here, how much mana do we have? Uh, two, three, four, five. Um, they don't have the mana available. So I think same plan. Let's attack our opponent. We're going to steal the Teferi. So... X equals... I need 8 mana. Oh no. Oops. I just want to steal the two things. Uh, so pay two. Pay that. Let's see if opponent has veto or something. Okay, just instant speed. They get a zombo. Um, here. We don't really have any sorceries, but we can bounce something to get some value. Don't worry, I got you. We do have Leyline, which sets us up for a crazy turn next turn. So let's drop that down. If they want to attack Teferi, that's fine. 
it's just gonna slow him down a bit, let us be able to set up our big turn. Because now these tap for a bunch of mana. Okay, that's a big Crassus. Okay, so they're going face, no blocks here. Ooh, another mass manipulation. So here... We can make a big Crassus of our own. Let's just go... X equals... 1... Let's take this. We'll plus to fairy. Attack like this. We're at 28 cards, so I'll probably start blocking with these risen reefs. Um, here, how much mana do we have? Eight. Ten. So X equals eight. Buffer our life total a bit. You got a land for turn. You're gonna discard the Risen Reef and discard the Druid. I think we're in a pretty solid spot. Drawn most of our deck. So they can Teferi bounce their Krasis. They're also at 31 cards. So we can bounce an Arboreal Grazer to get rid of the Flying Blocker or or the Reach Blocker or bounce the Krasis if they play it. can go Vivian. I haven't drawn a Nisa, which is a little annoying. So we're going to bounce that. These have Trample, so it soaks up more damage. Uh, let's go Vivian here. Yeah. So, opponent sees the writing on the wall. Silver scape shift. Uh, I kind of like our main board, to be honest. The druids, they're fine, whatever. They're going to bounce with Teferi. Like, this stuff they bounce doesn't really benefit them at all. Maybe just some ceratops but even then they're gonna gum up the ground uh ugin could be fine probably instead of cavalier thorns and do i want the kefnets probably instead of the vivian because they could fly over and really their flyers are somewhat limited um voracious hydra is a way for us to push through damage and fight a crisis. Perhaps just cut one druid. Try it out like that. 
might be wrong cutting the mana ramp creatures, but I've I haven't played too much of uh, like these ramp strategies. Uh, this hand doesn't do enough. Like we do have a turn one ley line, but this hand also doesn't do. All right, so this is where we're seeing like some of the mana issues in the deck. Alrighty, well. Also sucks that both our mass manipulations are at the bottom there. We do have a couple crisis as well, so that should hopefully draw some cards. Uh, So we have Tamio. We can start digging for Nisa. The fact that they wasted. On Tamio bodes. or on uh, the Druid bodes pretty well for us. Are they going to feel to ruin us? Get a forest. It's actually pretty good for us because now we shuff shuffle the mass manipulations back from the bottom. Uh, let's just get Nisa. Uh, that kind of sucks. Kefnet reduces the cost of mass manipulation and lets us copy it. See if we get a Anissa here. Let me aid your okay, so Voracious Hydra, and we'll just pass the turn. Not, uh, we've gone through. 20 cards of our library, so a third and see no Nisa. So they have Island, Sun Petal, Azorius. Okay, so they do have the land condition. It's actually getting kind of silly now. Well, they ambush us here, and they keep it on top. Oh, they pass through the block step. So X equals four, draw two cards. Sure, I would like to redraw that. So they'll likely attack into Tamio here. Actually, we should have probably brought in Aether Gust. If they scape shift on the stack, we can respond, which is kind of cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're one off from being able to. See if we hit Tamio or um, Nisa. So we can go X equals five, which still lets them attack in. I'll take that. 
So that's six. Yeah, that's the most we can do. No attacks. We'll keep their crisis. They'll get the value again out of Teferi. No blocks here. You could use the manor. They'll probably play out the crisis again. For Malta 5, we've recovered pretty well. But having gone through this much of our deck and not hitting Nisa, it's a little unfortunate. And they're going to root, so they'll get two more zombies. Yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this one up. They've established like board control. They got ahead of us on mana and we're running out of cards, so our crisis aren't even gonna be really that useful. Um, do I want the Aether Gus? Maybe instead of Kefnet. Bring in a couple. It could just bounce where need be. Voracious Hydras felt pretty bad here. Especially with Teferi. Run it like that. Let's try that out. Like we can go Flooded Tears to deal with the Scape Shift deck, but it's not really going to be something post-rotation. Uh, what's with these hands? Okay, we'll keep this. Gonna put the forest back. We're on the play, so. Okay, we'll keep Nisa. We have Aether Gust if they play something. Mass manipulations felt really good in this matchup, at least. Just stealing their Krasis or their Teferis. They might have Aether Gust here. Oh, just a Growth Spiral. So, really want to hit a land here. Instead, we get Ley Line. That doesn't do much. We wanted the land there so we could have gone Nisa. Uh, that could be a couple things, just double growth spiral, circuitous roots. Um I'm gonna decline to put that on top. I wanna hit a land. So I want the most chances of seeing land. Perfect. So there was a play that we attack first there. So we did miss out on a point of damage. And then we can play out the Leafkin, which is nice. Then hopefully hit another land. Okay, so we have an Aether Gust. So if they have a Krasis or something, we just throw it out of the way. They can bounce our forest. It's fine. Um, here. So we can go ley line.
We can just set up our next draw. I don't want another Aether Gust. Then just... Do the island. So they can... Yeah, I think we just do that. They can Aether Gust the Risen Reef, but if they want to waste it on that, then I'm fine. We have an Aether Gust to put the any of their green creatures on the stack, or even a Scape Shift if they play it. They can Field of Ruin our island. Okay, so we got a nice big crisis here. Um, so here, that's six, seven, eight. So I think I'm going to do that. So that's two mana taps for eight, yeah. That keeps our land open and we can attack in. And then we'll animate a forest, which will then keep Aether Gust open. Drew a lot of lands there. Ah, uh, so we don't get the Nisa this turn. That kind of sucks. We should have activated first. Oh, this turns on Aether Gust by itself because it's a creature that does it. So not, not the worst. All right. Force him to escape shift. Gives their spell hex proof. So we're gonna get a lot of zombies. Nope. Because we put it on top. It's not a counter effect, it is a replacement effect. Sweet. That one went pretty long, so I'm going to play a best of one. Uh, I'm just going to play it regular, just so we get a feel and best of one. This deck generally doesn't win quick, so we'll just get a feel for it and how it plays in the best of one meta. Glad that we were able to beat Scape Shift though, especially without a clear board sweep. I think the opponent should have fielded our creature. That hand is awful. Alright, we'll keep this hand. Uh, I can probably pass off on one of these. I think I want lands. Our hand really benefits getting up to these spells. White weenie. Mono white life gain, or probably black white life gain. Uh, 
Uh, we'll just pass turn here. So we weren't able to fight it this turn because of the Soul Mender. No blocks. They'll probably pump it here is my guess. Probably just drop Cavalier of Thorns this turn. We'll take... Ah... Uh. There goes our Nisas, so we kind of want this to die now. So if opponent wants to pump the Pride Mate, be my guest. Prison Realm. That's probably the worst way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. X equals 5, so we can fight the Pride Mate. So it's basically just a 7 mana removal spell at this point, but... Oh, it's got one toughness, so it actually survives. Oh, that's perfect. I misread the card. <laughs> Always read your cards. Come on, opponent. You're basically dead. Lyra is large. So we're just going to attack in anyways with Hydra. It's not blocking. If they want to double block, they can. So, one, two, so two, three, four, five, six. This deck, you gotta do a lot of counting. Ah, sweet. And we got Anissa. They got their draw engine going. See if they got another prison realm. Come on. Alright, Pride Mate can get big. Uh, make another Pride Mate. Past the turn. Okay, so we oddly don't have that many forests. Um, here, probably gonna block this turn if need be. So I'm not as interested necessarily. Ah, oh, sweet, Leafkin. We get to go pretty wide there, put in another land. I think we just gotta go after our opponent's life total. That way they can't use the Ajani uh, zero ability. These both having six toughness has been really relevant this game. Next turn we just have like 
near infinite mana. <laughs> Mass manipulation would be sweet. Take their Johnny. They did miss the trigger here on Soul Mender. Probably gain four life for them. attack in to the face all right he gonna draw a card no card draw it's a bold strategy um so here let's just do this I don't care if the islands die. Um, you're probably free to play. At this point, I'm just assuming the math checks out. Set up our scry. Yes, I would love a crisis. Um... That's 13, they hit us back for five. Like they can block everything else on the ground, so we'll just keep the mana. Pride mate's gonna get pretty big. See what the opponent's gonna do. And they're gonna get some angels. So, opponent just completely disregarded what we did. So they'll scry, they're gonna get an angel here. down to two. Uh, put three counters. This is the point where I wish they just said, like, do max mana. So 
So that's 19. Let's do 21. So it's 21. That's x equals 19. Let's do, yeah, let's just do x equals 19. Draw the cards. <laughs> so, breeding pool doesn't. Oh, actually, we have enough to steal uh, the angel. Do we have enough? Blue mana. No, we don't. Ah, poops. Poops. Uh, let's just go Leafkin here. Draw some more cards. We can go. Cameo. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Attacking with the both. Oh, I forgot this doesn't have flying anymore. Oops. This deck's oddly effective against us. Uh, they're going to be able to mess with us pretty hard. Uh, let's get you back. So we got punished for not, and they got another angel. So they have us dead through flyers if they just down tick a Johnny. So let's see if they notice that play. Yep. So. Misjudged this matchup, but good demo of the deck anyways. You saw how many cards you can draw, the type of mana and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you can, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back with a few more deck lists.